Well, welcome back to City Line. With me, I have two amazing individuals um, who I just recently had fun playing with, I have to tell you. And they are here to talk about the springtime events at the Children's Museum of Tacoma. Please join me in welcoming Rolf Batista. You are the communications manager for Green Trike, aren't you? I am. Thank you for having us here it's today. It's good to have you. And this wonderful woman, the last time I saw you, truly... Breaking the house down, Maria Gayton, you are the museum manager for Green Tide. I am. Trike. Oh, welcome, but welcome, my dear. It's so good to see you. Good seeing you, and thank you for having us. Oh, you kidding me? Okay, so what are some of the new features that we are looking at for this museum of ours, Rolf? Well, if you haven't been to the museum in yep. a while, um, we have two new things. So the water playscape got a refresh. We installed some new panels in there, some new materials, and we installed two features. We put in a vortex where you could put <gasps> in some um, objects in there. You could put yes. some filters, really manipulate the way things go. And so it's a whole lot of fun. And then we also installed an Archimedes screw in that feature. Um, Look on that. the second playscape, we have the climber. It's this multi-level climber made of natural wood and a cargo netting. And it's a great place for older children to play and to get up. But it's also very accessible for our younger children. There's a lot of surprises in it, like talk tubes and little things to view. It's so much fun. We love it. Oh, I love that. So when we think about Maria, cost of admission, parking for guests, and the museum schedule... That's a lot for us to all put together. Um, help us understand how that works. Yes, yeah, so our cost is pay as you will, um, just being donation based and as well our museum scheduled. We're open Thursday through Sunday, 10 to five, so easy peasy. And then parking, we recommend street parking. Uh, the parking lot adjacent to the museum is not available to the public, but street parking is always open. There we go, she, she said it so well, mm. absolutely. So let's talk about um, museum times for children that would be sensitive to all of the stimulation or the stimuli found in the museum because because there is that I mean and so how do we help those children Yes, so luckily we offer our low sensory hours on Thursdays, 10 to 1, at our Tacoma location. Um, it includes shutting down some lights, closing some doors, just offering that extra help for um, high sensory it, areas and then as well we have we close some doors down and then our JBLM location we have them open for 10 to noon for our low sensory hours. Okay excellent so Rolf what are some of the upcoming events we should we should keep an eye out for at the museums? Yes uh, we have been hosting a Northwest Sinfonietta at the Children's Museum of uh, Tacoma yeah. and also at JBLM so up in uh, May we're going to have them performing again and they're going to be performing at the low sensory hours so they have a string quartet they play popular music and also some uh, themes from popular animated children's movies as well. And then we also have coming up our, our Sparks workshops, uh, which are uh, one day a month art themed events. And the next one is going to be paper making in early April. So we have all the materials available for all our guests. So just come on down and we I can make that. some fun things. Outstanding. So let's talk about another phrase that we know goes very well with Green Trike. And you kind of mentioned this, Miss Maria, and that's okay. pay as you will admission. What does that mean, pay as you will? Pay as you will means it's completely donation based. There is no cost admission. There is completely, you can donate as little or as much as you want. It's as much as your heart contends to give um, to make sure that the museum stays accessible to every community member. I love that. So when we think about a membership program, what are the benefits for members, Rolf, when we think about that? Because we've got that beautiful pay as you will, um, but then there are also things that a membership gives us that perhaps a pay as you will would not. Mm -hmm. uh, well, for one thing, the membership really helps fund museum operations as well. So we thank all our members for providing that support. But membership also comes with benefits it's like discounts on some of our events and first access to some of our programs like preschool. Uh, they get dedicated parking in the museum uh, right next to the lot. And uh, for families in the area, our playful membership gives uh, reciprocal discounts to museums in the region. And for families that love to go on adventures, the Little Travelers gives them discounts at over 500 museums across the country. So it's really great for those families that like to travel, not just for us, they're supporting us, but they're also supporting 
museums across the nation. Wow. Okay, now that that got my attention. I was like, <laughs> wow, across the nation. So Maria, people, I think that people know that we have a second museum, um, and it's out. Um, it's it's the JBLM Museum. Um, what can you tell us about this museum on base? Yeah, so our museum located at Joint Base Lewis McCoy yeah. over on the Fort Lewis side. We are um, about to celebrate our two year anniversary out there this April of opening, um, being the first children's museum on a military base. So beautiful. Um, we are pay as you will out at that location as well. We're also open Friday through Sunday, 10 to 5. Um, it's just always open and six playscapes to adventure. So mm -hmm. plenty oh, of fun. Excellent. You recently reached the one million mark um, at the Children's Museum of Tacoma. Can you speak more about this, Ralph? Yeah, it just happened in January, just a few days before our 11 year anniversary at the Children's Museum of Tacoma. Um, and the family actually just moved from uh, moved to Washington and they live on Joint Base Lewis McCord. This was actually their first outing into Tacoma. And wow. we had quite a surprise waiting for them, <laughs> showered them with confetti and gave them a birthday party and a museum membership, but they hadn't expected any of this. And it was quite a welcome for them to the museum. And we couldn't have asked for, you know, better guests. Uh, they had three children and, you know, it was it was an amazing time. They were really surprised. The here. looks on their face is <laughs> incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, you hand someone the big check and they go, yeah. really? <laughs> is this <laughs> happening? <laughs> is this really happening to yeah. me and my family? Oh, I, I love that. So what are some of the other green trike news for families in our area? Because it seems like green trike goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. We have some, uh, a few other offerings for families in the area. Uh, so we have our preschool registration and there are classes at the Children's Museum of Tacoma and our Hoyt campus in Proctor. Mm -hmm. And both locations get dedicated uh, an exclusive day at the museum to come play as well. And upcoming, I know it's spring break and we have our spring break camp coming up and registration's opening up for that one. And then lastly, we're focused on building the child and youth centered communities and our symposium is happening in April, April 19th. So yeah. we're really looking for our partners and community members to come down to help to make Pierce County the best place for children, youth, and families. Absolutely, and you mentioned something that, that I, I didn't know, and that's that um, you have not a satellite, but you also have a museum location at Washington Hoyt. How long has that been there? That's uh, just our, it's our, just our preschool classroom right. over there. So yes. that one's been around since I believe, we opened in 2014, so it's been around for quite a while. Yeah, a little over yeah. six years now. Almost mm. Wow, like that. That, yeah. now that's impressive, absolutely. Let's talk about Tacoma Creates for a second. Oh, yes. Um, in the sense of um, uh, maybe thank yous, but also in terms of what they do on a, on a quarterly, yearly basis to make the museum take off and fly. Mm -hmm. Well, we really appreciate Tacoma Creates and we're grateful for the support and funding that they have. And and they make programs like the Sinfonietta possible. Yes. Hello Country Hours. They make pay as you will possible, providing admission to families to our museums possible for those who may not have the access normally to a paid museum. So they provide all those things and they like museum fun days to have our different sparks workshop yes. to providing like just having this pay as you will atmosphere and making it very welcoming. So we're very grateful for that support and the work that they do, not just for us, but also for many cultural institutions in our community. Oh, abso oh absolutely. I mean, Tacoma Creates, they, they, they really pave the way, don't they? Yes, they do. They <laughs> absolutely do. Let's talk about um, when um, I saw you last, you took the breath out of the room. Um, with um, your, I don't want to say testimony, because it wasn't so much that as it was your journey in terms of Green Trike and what they have given to you and what you have given back to them. When you think about that and you think about your life and how far you have come, Maria, what is that one thing that Green Trike has given you that you still can't believe? Hope and ah! resilience. There it is, hopes. What else? And resilience. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those moments where I thought I couldn't go further down. <laughs> and Green Trike was there. I call them my shining light, my sun, my north star. They, they've guided every path for me. So 
Yeah, boy. Can't that, thank him enough. That, and we can't thank her enough as well. Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Last few minutes, who do we want to thank? Besides Tacoma Creates and this beautiful woman. I <laughs> also want to thank, of course, all our members and then mm -hmm. everyone who helps with Pay As You Will and our museum each and every day. I'd like to throw a shout out to and all our wonderful, wonderful volunteers who show up to help make these events like our gala or symposium. They come together and really help out and, and, and give their all each and every day. They, they absolutely do. I, I know that for a fact because um, Green Trike, as you've said, is a family um, and it, they're, they're, they reach across um, the aisle and they lower barriers and they lower boundaries for family. And you, my dear, um, are living proof of that. When you stood up there and talked about how far um, you have come in terms of believing with yourself, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. So um, again, I just, I can't, I can't thank you enough for all that you have done for us. Thank you. All right, you and these socks. Let's give it one more quick <laughs> shot of it. Can we get his socks on sock cam? All right, lift your foot up there real quick. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. Uh. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for being here today, and I want you on the couch sooner than later, okay? Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure. All right, that wraps up another great segment of City Line. It is always a privilege to be in your home. We've given you some really great things to think about in this past hour, so please go out there, be a part of the tapestry, and above all, pay it forward. And when you come back, as always, we'll be waiting for you right here at City Line. Take care. Come on, that's my home.